Look at that big fish. Closer, they're pretty good. Are they? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Really oh, close. wow. <laughs> we normally do it on the stone there, but if there's, only, if there's only three people in, we may as well do it right up against the yeah, wall. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at that. Never they're seen... pretty good with dogs if you want to come up. Oh. Never seen penguins to close. <laughs> so I think he was the other keeper. I don't know if you saw him. He was in fact waiting oh, for that yeah. one. Though. Oh, really? He's got, I think he's got one at home. Oh. Um, so he gets a little bit mesmerized with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just noticed. I think sometimes they, I don't know, I think sometimes dogs, when they're sort of left to it, they seem to be alright sometimes. Yeah. With them. It's only when uh, it's the little ones, they tend to find here, it's usually the smaller the bird, the more enticed they are. The bigger the bird, they tend to be quite relaxed yeah. about it. <laughs> They've probably never seen a bird that big. Yeah. <laughs> well, penguins are pretty good. They're pretty, um, they, all they care about is food. Is that it? is obviously yeah. all they care about. There, there's no real thought there for them. Food and breeding, that's all they care about. They stay in groups, don't they, as well? They do, but they're not like, um, these, like ours will stay in, ours will sleep separately if they want to. They prove to a bird. In the wild, they're, they're so home to get food when they can because they don't know when it will turn up all the time. Yes, so yes, when they exactly find cold, food, their, yes. their instinct is to eat as much as you can. And these bigger ones, these kings, they can take about 15 of these in one go. Oh, but oh. what you have, the issue you have then, is that if you sit there and hey, that. <laughs> if you sit there and feed them 15 fish in one go, tomorrow they probably won't feed very much. Oh. So what we do is we only feed penguins that come to us. We only feed ones that are interested. If we go try and feed these ones. Yeah. They probably had a good feed yesterday. Yeah. But their instinct will be to eat it, even yeah. though they don't want it. Yeah. And then you end up with fat penguins. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Yeah, I was just saying, because it's quite quiet, there's no point. Because we're quiet, there's no point doing it over there. I might as well try and bring them a bit closer to you. It's always you. But, um, but yeah, so their instinct is just that... It's just to eat and eat and eat as much as they can, but um, they're all right. They're, they're, they, the little ones are the worst ones. The little ones play up more. Did I? Yeah. Yeah, they're slightly more. Uh, they're slightly more energetic. But that's because they're smaller. They come from a warmer country. Yeah. They come from the coast of Chile or Peru, so they're quite. They like it a bit warmer. Oh right. These guys, because they come from a colder place like the Falklands or southern Georgia, they um, when they get a belly full of food, their instinct is to stand still yes, and yes, conserve yes, their conserve energy. Yes. Yes. Conserve it. Mm. Otherwise, they, as I said, they don't know when fish will turn up again. Now, we feed our penguins on two buckets of fish every day. If you want to eat it, but stop pecking my leg. <laughs> <laughs> we feed them on two fish, two buckets a day, and that's all we feed them. So we always sort of top them up. We never let them get too hungry, um, and we always just put them them. This is a little female. You got it? I think that. Oh, here they come. Uh, that's the one, that's the other little female. That's the famous one that we always show off, is Missy. She's the oldest one in captivity. Oh, how old is she? Well, in the wild they live to about 17, 18, or 20, say. She's 39, oh, going on 40. Really? So she's me. incredibly, incredibly old. She's yeah. a wild caught penguin as well. So uh, <coughs> the guy who caught her used a gaffer, which is a long pole with a hook on the end. She's a long pole with a hook on the end, and he stabbed her on the throat. For so you can see her tongue sticking out the bottom of her oh, right, yeah, and yeah. then she's going blind in her left eye or she is blind in her left eye so she's going blind in her right eye now so she's really old but oh. she still feeds the yeah. one following her is her partner right. that's seth what's his seth name is seth. seth seth's one he's been here a long time as well he's uh <coughs> he's another oldie as well he's a couple of years younger than her oh. but um but he's the one that was flown to hollywood a long time ago with a lot of our penguins and was um, and was uh, in Batman Returns. Really? Oh wow! He's the only one from that group now. Oh. What's the girl one called? Missy. Missy. Missy yeah. and Seth. Oh. But when the weather changes, they don't eat very much, so they're a little bit. They go a little bit off their food. So he's a toy, so we've got toy big, penguin. Yeah, really. Yeah. He's a bit of a star. <laughs> We've got the biggest group of king penguins in the UK. 
We've got the only females in the UK, so we're very lucky. So we've got the only breeding group of pink penguins in the whole of the UK. All right. so we're very lucky to have them. That's why everyone shows off them. But really, it's the little ones that are more entertaining. The little mm -hmm. ones that are more fun. Yes, okay. yes. But they're part of a breeding program. So they, we have to breed them. Uh, because out in the wild, they're going to be getting less and less. Right. And that's why there's every year that we grow part has humble penguins because they're the ones that we're all trying to breed. Yeah. But they're a little bit more savvy, because, as I said, because they come from a warmer area, there's more fish, so they do waste their energy running around. But they're also a little bit more bird, a bit more of a bird, really. These guys will lay eggs and move their feet and their bellies to keep it warm, but the humboldt find caves and burrows, and they lay their eggs underground. Oh, do they? Yeah. yeah. It's quite nice to watch. And then, and quite oddly, everyone loves the pink penguins, and they think the humboldt are just plain. But when they're little, pink penguins are incredibly ugly when they first hatch. Oh, really? They've yeah. got no feathers, they've got big feet, a big head, and they bend in half. Because they've got to sit under mum and dad's feet, they've got this really weird look. But humble penguins, when they grow up, they look a little bit plain. But when they're little, they're really cute, grey and fluffy. Yes. They're really, really cute when they're little. Aww.